Triple M Grill Team. With Blacktown Hospital, Sonia Malone was forced to wait more than 30 hours for emergency surgery. Sonia went to Blacktown Hospital at 10am on Monday. Around 7 that night, she was seen by a surgeon prepped for surgery, but that didn't happen until 5pm the next day. Yeah, unbelievable story last night on the news. Um, watching uh, poor Sonia, she must have been in excruciating pain. I've never had anything or, or anyone associated with me had appendicitis, Matty, but you have. How bad is it? Uh, horrendous. I, I, I'm, I was in year eight at high school. I got up and I tapped my mum on the shoulder. She was asleep. And I said, oh, I'll tell you what, mum, crook today. She said, you'll be right. So I put the gear on. I'm on the way to the bus to Maitland, which is about 40 minutes down the road. And I'm, oh, mate, feeling crook. Got to school. I went... Oh. Mate, I'm gonna, mate. This is, I'm gone. I went and saw the teacher. I said, "Listen, mate, I'm, I'm fa- a brother. I'm in a bad way, Br- brother Michael." And brother Michael go, "Let's be honest, Johns. You haven't done your homework. Why oh. do you want to go home?" <laughs> An hour later, I you know, said, "No, I got to go." And I took me to, mate. My appendix was about to burst. They got it out, mate. It was crookest I've ever been. Well, despite the problems. Um Miss uh, Sonia Malone praised the uh, the efforts of the nursing staff, so she must be a, a great lady, and we, we're lucky to have her on the line. G'day, Sonia. Good morning. Welcome to the Grill Team. Hi. So, can you explain how much pain you were in for 30 hours? Yeah, look, I was in a fair bit of pain. Um, the problem really isn't about that, though. The problem was that, um, like so many others on the same night, there was just no beds waiting for surgery. The yeah, staff no. were great. Mm. And they treated like, you know, that was it, that was yeah. Well, I know, so, your, I know your husband Paul was critical. He said, "Look, we're in the year two thousand on the news last night, two thousand and fourteen. You expect more for uh, our hospitals." And um, I know that the director of nursing and midwifery at Blacktown Mount Druitt Hospital, David Simmons, apologised to you, but um, yeah, definitely. Um, it still doesn't take away the the agonising pain you're in, and, and and I suppose other people were in on the same night. Yeah, that's right. I mean, look, I would have waited for days if I had to for surgery, if I was made, you know, if there was beds and, and um, pillows. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, um, Sonia, how close did you come to the appendix bursting? Boy, it must have been close. No, I actually had other problems as well, so um, they found other things, so I was quite lucky. I mean, for me, personally, I was lu- I was one of the lucky ones. I just think it's important that people know that these things happen. Like I said, there was other people in there, mm. and I'm, I understand that emergency, emergencies come first, of course, and I would have waited. Um, mm. I, I just don't think it's right. Was an emergency. I thought, you know, if you don't mm. fix an appendicitis or something... I suppose that, a gunshot wound will jump above it on the list, though, and people just... Sure, but it, yeah, it is one of those oh, look, things, there was other, there was, It was such a busy night. I mean, there was... There was millions of people, well, not millions, yeah, sorry, we, but there was, there was quite a lot of people coming in with, they were a lot worse off than I was. Um, I think it was just the fact that I was told, I was prepped for surgery um, and twice. then put in a hospital gown mm. and then sent back to the waiting room in the hospital oh, gown. Oh, dear. That yeah. was, the, that was, that so was, that was I the, mean, a half naked around strange people. It wasn't oh, the yeah. most... And that was, that, 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 was late, that was at eight thirty at night, and you weren't operated until five pm the next the next day. <sighs> That's right, and I didn't have. Um, I was nil by mouth too the whole oh, time man. because they couldn't give me a time as to when. Like, and I understand that you know emergencies must like you know right. there's other things that come in first, but really the the problem is, you know, the 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 staff were great. Uh huh. The hospital itself was good. It was the fact that there was, there's just, there's no bed. There's mm. no... Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. Great yeah. staff, yeah. but not enough of them and yeah, not enough beds. Yeah, yeah. No, well, Sonia... That's right. And there wasn't, there wasn't enough staff either. I actually felt sorry for the staff at one stage. Yeah, mm. they're under me and that's for sure. Well, Sonia, yeah. as long as you're okay, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. No, Mate, nice to hear, that is I just, good I hear. just want to made aware uh, that, uh, you know, this is, this is, this is going on. Yep. Yeah. Well, Sonia, I think a lot of people listen to that. It'll uh, strike a call with them. Mm. They'd have been in the same position. Thank you, Sonia. Have Thanks, you, Sonia. Have you had appendicitis? Does yeah, it? I have. I have, yeah. I, I actually was on Camp Knox, which is uh, oh. where I went to school. We Can go we up there start, for, we should, that's enough. We for camping. And um, I was actually up on 750, which is this mountain called 750, because it's 750 metres high. Okay. And I had mm. pains in my guts, and I blew a whistle. My teacher came, <laughs> carried me down on his back. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> I, 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 that's enough. The Triple M Grill Team.